So now we're going to move on to creating or downloading packages and packages. Yeah, there's a slight delay there because I just started the machine up. So I imagine the network's getting up to scratch. <clears throat> packages and packages where we've, sorry, packages and patches where we're going to download all of the source code for all the packages we're going to build in Linux from scratch. Uh, some information there about that. Uh, which you can read. First thing we want to do is to create a directory to store the packages in. So again, I want to be sure that the LFS environment variable is set. It is before I do this command. I'll paste that in. We've created a directory called sources under MNT LFS. Also, I want to change that to be sticky so that Whoever creates files in the that directory is the only person that can delete the files within that directory. Now we're going to download the files. As you saw previously, we can download them from various mirrors. Conveniently, the Linux from scratch book has got a steering file which we can download. If we right click this and copy link and uh, let's go into the sources directory is probably the best place to do this. If we type in wget and paste that URL in, it will retrieve that steering file. And if I show that, you can see there's the URLs of each of the files of the packages and patches down the bottom that we're going to fetch. And by using this command here, it will use this steering file to download all of the packages. So what we'll do is just wait a few moments for these packages to download. It will take yeah, several minutes uh, to download. So I'll just uh, wait for that to happen.
Okay, it seems like the server for this particular package is not responding. What I'm going to do is abort this by doing Control C. And uh, what I'm going to do then is retry the command. It should skip the files it's downloaded already and hopefully it'll pick up a different server for that TCL package. Unfortunately, it's still picking up. That server and it's obviously not working. So what I'm going to do is to <coughs> download the remaining packages manually, rather than um, just waste time waiting for that. So this will show how these uh, mirrors with the uh, packages are useful. So if I can remember where they are, is it under resources? Yep. So I'm going to go to LFS 11.3 and what I'm going to do now actually before I go there is the easiest way to find out what's missing is to download this file here with MD5 checksums in it <clears throat> and then run this command here which will go through the steering file and identify what's wrong and what's missing. Oh, it does look like there's quite a few missing, unfortunately. Uh, that's a bit of a shame. Um, okay, it's a shame that server's down at the moment. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to create a copy of the wget list. And I'm going to remove the ones that we've downloaded. Looks like everything up to tar. Oh, of course, they're all tar, aren't they? <laughs> so let's download, delete these. Right, there's tar there, so those are the ones remaining, so let's take a chance on running this command again on the remaining steering file. Hopefully we can get the others down, the other files down before it hits that server again, that mirror. And it does seem to be working luckily. Right, looks like there's another server. Whether this is because we're in the virtual environment, um, where the networking is slightly different, um, I don't know. Uh, right, I'll edit this again. So Zlib is the next one to download. So let's modify this again. And see if we can pick up another file server. Oh, is that getting that directly from Zlib? Yeah, it doesn't look like that's a mirror, that one. Let's try once more. No, okay. Right, I'll download that one manually. OK, 
Okay, so that's the remainder. So now if I rerun this command here, I'm guessing it's only going to report that Zlib one missing. Yeah, so if I go back through the list, you can see everything's got an OK next to it. Except for the Zlib file. And it does actually say at the bottom here, just one file could not be read. So I'm going to download that Zlib file manually. So it's Zlib 1.2.13. This should have the right version in this directory here. There it is there. So I'll copy the link and just type wget, paste in the link. So we've got that now and I'll rerun that check. And you can see there's no error at the bottom now. So I know that we've got finally all the correct um, packages for the build, including the patches. And more to the point, they all test correctly. There's no problems with them. So next we're going to change the ownership of everything under sources to the root and explains there why that is. Um, if a download is a non-root user, there can be potential problems with the user IDs and so on. Next part is a list of all the packages with the direct links to the packages uh, as well as a, um, a list of the patches on this page that are used in this particular build. 